you're doing today. Thank you for tuning in. If you didn't catch my last episode. We delivered to the Tesla facility here in Sparks, Nevada. You're asking what the intro music was? That was uh, Summer Garden by Magnus. The link is in the description. Check it out. Listen to the whole song there. Everybody always likes to ask me, Who's, where's that intro song? And if you're interested in my that unlimited VO internet, which is absolutely killing it, I uh, am able to upload an hour long video for you guys in, in under an hour with that thing. It's amazing. The link for that description is in the description box as well. Click on the link and uh, it takes you right to the site. Don't forget the uh, input the code to save 20 bucks. So today we are on our way over here to uh, get some high value cargo that goes back to Georgia. So we will not tell you what our cargo is until a later date. So in the meantime, we've seen a lot of wild horses today. Let's see if I can enclose a picture of that for you. It was really cool seeing those wild horses in the wild. Well, uh, you would think this would be wild territory, but it is. There's a lot of horses here. Amazing. Uh, I've seen 40 or 50. You know, it's just really, really cool. And I asked a lot of people, I said, oh yeah, they're wild. They, they uh, be here a while, you know, blah blah, blah. but uh, but yeah, they don't bother nobody. Nobody bothers them. So pretty, 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 pretty neat, man. You know, today's time and era, we still have wild horses roaming the land in America. That is just really cool. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I would imagine certain uh, landowners may not like it. I guess I don't know. Uh, I don't live out here on any property, so. I don't know what kind of damage this does to your crops or probably of course there's not much vegetation out here. I don't know what the things eat, but I guess they eat just dead stuff. So anyway, but yeah, it's a beautiful day over here, 82 degrees, sunny, just absolutely gorgeous weather. I haven't heard listened to the news this morning. I think the hurricane's getting ready to hit North Carolina. It's not like it's gonna be a bad one. Well, it's South Carolina, I don't know where it's gonna hit, but but anyway, so yeah, I hope everybody over there fares the weather as safe as possible. And, uh, yeah, could be, could be bad. But anyway, we're going to go over and drop this trailer today. And then uh, we don't leave out until the morning. So once we are bobtail, we can uh, go bobtail around Reno and, uh, and go back and get a shower, do some laundry. Go to Best Buy, um, go out to eat, just got a whole list of uh, things to do there, you know. But anyway, we'll see you guys in a while. Well, here comes a prime example of uh, what I was trying to tell y'all the other day about the dump truck. This is a typical Nevada setup. I guess it's Nevada, I don't know where else they run them things. They can't run them in California. dump buckets will slide into the main dump bucket where they can dump it. Uh, at least I think that's what those are. I've seen, I've seen that once and I, I watched videos on how they do it. I guess you can get the mic there. I've seen videos on how they, on how they uh, offload it off the trailer and put it in the bed of their truck and then go dump it and then put it back. It's, uh, it's really interesting. If we ever see another one in action we will be sure to uh, to video it the next time. But anyway, so yeah, pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. All right, we're out. Well, we gotta go door nine. Drop this. They don't make this place big enough for trucks. Holy cow! Well, first of all, we gotta get in here and put all our blankets on. You know, so we're gonna be out here for a bit.
guys are straight it is uh pretty warm outside we are in nevada and we gotta get blankets out of the truck so we have 37 in there currently we need a total of 60. so i think we'll start this new bundle it has 12 in it hopefully we don't get in trouble for the head cam on here but i want to show you guys what we got i don't have to do anything except put the stuff in the trailer you know I think we'll do it from the other side. Did I turn the inside lights on? I don't know. I did not. Let's get those lights turned on. Because we got a climb here and kind of put the blankets down both sides. Uh, So I had to have a total of 60 blankets and about uh, I think they said 25 straps but I took all the straps out of the truck here a while back and uh, lightened the load on my trailer uh, I got started carrying all that stuff around you know we, we wasn't we wasn't using it so there was no point in carrying all that and now we need it you know so what a mess so it's 37 38 you guys keep count will you so we got 37 in the trailer 37 38 39 we'll take three at a time well this trailer's a mess until I haven't done this in a while all right so there's 40 all right 37 40 need 20 more 20 more it's a good time to organize this box but problem is I'm leaving it here you know so there's 40 so there is 43 43 46 and 12 it's gonna be 58 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 you know what 46 47 48 49 we might not have to open that bundle. Fifty 
52, 53, 54, 55. short so we had to open that bundle but the uh, agent gave me 37 and we only agreed on 25 so what we'll do is we'll pick out some old ones of hers and take them back to her Here's two more. I'm about to get up here and count them. Okay. All right, so there is two. Stack and tie blankets when it comes time to pull us away. Twelve twenty local time and uh, At least for now, I know we have good blankets, you know, so these are not the U-Haul blankets. These are the ones that's like 17 bucks a piece, depending on, you, depending on where you go. So if we ever get any more logistics work, we'll know that we got the blankets, you know, so. So let's see how many we got. Because my account's correct, we've only got 59. So there's 24. Four. Twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, 
32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, that just moves, lose count, 50, Fifty four. Fifty six, fifty seven. And I think I I think I sixty. I think that's, uh, I think that's 60. Twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-six, forty-eight, fifty, fifty-two, fifty-four, fifty-six, fifty-eight. Too short. I am. I got 58. 58? He said he wanted 60. Yeah, it's gonna be more than. That's all you got? No. That's all I got in here. I throw 12 more on here. Is all I got. That's all you got? Yeah, because we're gonna use them all. So 58 plus 12 would be uh. Yeah. So yeah, my, we use the little bit over 70. We use the uh, about 76. So we'll make sure when we get to the end we got 70, right? Yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll have more than 70, but yeah. Yeah, because we, we already used it. All these games are here. They're already blanked. So where do those blankets go? Do I just get them back at the other end? We're going to have to switch. We're going to take those and these are all, yeah. Oh, really? You're going to take out? We're going to have to, yeah. Because these, these are all new ones, man. Yeah, a lot of these. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that. He's going to have three stands. I told him that he had to send them out to BBC. And so make sure they get there. they got to be printed. All right. Yeah, because all my blankets are brand new, so hopefully. All right. Yeah, these are the ones that make it to your room. Yeah, these are new, too. Okay. Yeah, most of these are all new. Yeah, there's more. There's way more than 70, so. Okay. Thank you. All right. These are new right here? Yeah, well there's there the there's three there's three that are not. But as you can tell we got new bundles. There's only twenty four there. And there's all those thirty up in the nose up here are all the ones on the left right here. Yeah, there's there's five old blankets, okay? Five. Old ones, the rest of them are all new. I think we'll get another new bundle. You wanna take the old ones out? To get this trailer, yeah, it's my trailer. I mean, are you coming back here to get a load again? No. You come back here pretty regularly? No, it's my first time. Who knows? Your first time here? Yeah. Okay. So the ones like these, the ones that aren't? Yeah. Most of them are new, but they got a few in stock. I'm not going to have them take your blankets. I'm only going to have them take them for the new ones. Okay. That we've used. As you can see, these are brand new. Okay. Okay. So only yeah, because those things are expensive. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. 24 box up in Kingdom. Now that she's empty, we'll get this thing straightened out, you know. Uh, Cause then we gotta reload it. six straps so we're a couple of short on straps which is not cool right I got like I don't know how many straps at home probably a box of 50 I think we're allowed to stay here actually. Uh, I think the footnote says somebody cafeteria had food for sale. Uh, that might be it right there. Uh, we're not going to stay here though. We're going to go take this printer back. I hadn't told y'all about that. Well, I'll tell you about all that after a while. So, I'm going to have to go back to Best Buy and, and uh, I didn't slide the wheels back. There's not a roll here. So, and they're just loading them by hand. No forklift. It's a pretty massive rope. So, uh, we're gonna go to town, <clears throat> get some lunch, Best Buy, and then uh, back to the Petro for a shower. That is the plan with all that. I'll watch your head. We're going in. They put some electrical grease on those lines. 
while we're thinking about it tomorrow when we get hooked back up. I need to find it. So I think we just hang this over here. Maybe take a bungee cord around it, keep it tied up, just in case they move it. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody's probably saying in the comments, well, I hope that load paid good. I don't know why they're all worried about what I get paid. It's good exercise. I enjoy this kind of work. That age of 25 by the lift gate. She'll keep me busy. And uh, <coughs> they all say that, you know, but probably keep me busy out of out of Reno, but Reno's a long ways from the house, you know? Reno is a long ways from the house. All right, so there's the bungee cord. There's the handle. Just in case they want to move it. We're going to turn it on. They don't need a blue one, but we'll turn it on anyway. I went too far. Did I go too far? I don't know. Let's see. If that was to go all the way on there. Yeah. We're going to call it quits with that. Let's leave that on there just so we don't forget that we uh, turned it on, you know. Just so when we come back, we'll be able to uh, make sure we turn it off because when you hook it up, it's going to spew all the air out, you know. All right, so there's that. Now let's just bungee cord these up somehow, just for uh, safety purposes. Just in case they move it, you know. Just in case they move it. Oh, that didn't work, did it? You can tell I'm not a flat better. I'm not a flat better, come on. Trying to keep them getting all nasty. What we need is a, a hole somewhere. You know? That'll work. I'm just gonna keep that up there. I'm looking for some. Uh, there it is, right there, look at that. White lithium grease. So this thing got right all the way to Kennesaw with it, uh, stuff's gonna be everywhere, you know, time we get done. Dirty. I took the bath towels out already to throw in there in the wash. All right, guys, there it is. It's there. Now we're gonna go bobtail around town. I love it. My trailer has a twin. Check it out. Oh, he got a lift gate too. Nice. Very nice. I got her load picked up. 
We uh, slammed that, didn't I? Windows down, closes easier. Uh, just waning on the. Uh, gonna bring the paperwork out to me. We'll show you. Holy cow, we, uh. Well, I shouldn't say we're finally loaded. We got loaded five hours ago. Well, I shouldn't even say that. It was loaded. Uh, hang on a second, I'll focus on where I'm going. I don't want to follow that. Let's go right. Um, I can't decide if I want to go right or go left. I got the truck's navigation and the uh, Ram and alley going. The problem is, a lot of these streets over here are no trucks. So I don't know who to trust. Uh, we uh, dropped the trailer yesterday, which was early because we wasn't going to uh, drop it till today. But we got unloaded yesterday and dropped it yesterday. Turn right at 510 feet. So we, uh, we got loaded early and, uh, and I went back over there at 7, trailer was ready to go, but I had to wait for, uh, paperwork, you know, and that just took stinking forever. Holy smokes, man. Uh, apparently office staff was lacking today. Somebody called in sick. But anyway, what a bloody nightmare. So now we are going to go all the way a 95, all the way Highway 95, all the way to Keeneland, Arizona. It's about to go that way is about an hour and um, an hour and a half longer, but it's only like 23 miles further. To go that way. Did I turn too soon? Uh, but that takes us to Kingman, Arizona. Uh, so we'll spend all day Thursday in Kingman getting what we can done at a shiny truck. And then we will go on to Atlanta. Should hit Atlanta on Monday during the hurricane. So. Yes, it should be a blast. So we got 2,422 miles to go. Piece of cake. I'm a bit nervous about uh, doing the truck on Thursday in Kingman, losing the whole day there. Uh, that means we got to hump it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, I'm going to turn you down. You need to shut up. So anyway, so now we got to figure out how to get on Highway 95 and go south. All the way to Vegas, and then drop on down to uh, to uh, Kingman. I love that. I love that ride down there, man. We we videoed that several times. Um, so to keep videoing, it's just crazy. But anyway, we'll see you guys on down the road. I'm Tom Thumb from Pittstown, New Jersey. When I'm not working in the garden, I'm checking out idiotic ramblings on Life Is Good. Come on.